In this video, we're going to explore place value. We're really going to think about this idea of tens and ones and partitioning numbers into tens and ones. Now, Aaron hasn't really explored this idea of place value in much detail. We have talked about it and we have mentioned it, but we haven't actually really physically done it. So the idea of this video is just to show you a really practical way of sorting and partitioning numbers into tens and ones and really thinking about how to do that practically and how to really get that basic understanding in. Um, so we're going to start with basically, I have a little board on here and I've written tens and I've written ones. I've got a Play-Doh with a spaghetti in it and I've got some Cheerios, which are a really handy tool for this. It's a great wee fine motor skill activity as well. Now, um, basically what I'm gonna ask you to do is I'm gonna ask you to do a couple of things, okay? The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to count the Cheerios, okay? And then I'm going to ask you to sort them because this is a tens tower and only 10 Cheerios can fit on here, okay? If you have nine, they're not allowed on. If you have five, they're not allowed on. Only a full tower of 10, okay? Mm -hmm. And any ones that are left over, they have to go on the ones all by themselves, okay? okay? So what I just really encouraging is that physical idea of partitioning those numbers. So if you would like to count for me, Aaron, tell me how many Cheerios you have and I'm going to write the number up here for you, okay? Two, Right, count out loud for me. So, so you should know this is six on a dice. Oh, that's six on a dice. And you should know this is, five, this is five on a dice. Okay, so six what is that? Six plus five equals 11. You are correct, there are 11. Okay, so you've got 11. Okay, now, can you sort them? Remember, only mm -hmm. ever this has to be mm -hmm. full of 10. This and these are the ones that go on their own, okay? Right, so see if you can sort them out for me. So now this actual physical idea of sorting into those towers of 10 and those ones, just to really get that idea of splitting those numbers and that numbers actually do mean different things. Okay, good. So I see you've immediately put one over here. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you see there's 11, mm -hmm. if you take away one there's, there can, there's there 10. Ah, good. So again, starting to make those little connections, which is great. So check you've got 10 on there. Okay, one, two. Yep. Okay, and you've got one. So how many 10s have you got? One group of ten. One group of ten. This is really, really important that you enforce that language. It's very tempting at this point for children to say they have ten tens and this is where the misconceptions start and this is how when it comes to doing that written addition it can get very, very confusing. So really encourage that idea of it's one group of ten or one tower of ten so that they know that it's one. Okay, so can we say that we have one tower of 10 and one unit or one one yes mm -hmm. look do you see mm -hmm. it's the same as 11 isn't it mm -hmm. mm. right let's have another we go maybe some more cheerios this mm. time okay i'm gonna take these off you're gonna take those off okay right here we go right tell me what number we're gonna start with this time so count them all for me one two Three. Encourage your child to four. actually touch items as well as they count them so that they have that really concrete one-to-one -one recognition of numbers um, with those actual objects as well. Seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen. Right, so I'm going to write fourteen up here. Okay, yes? Yeah. Okay, right. Can you sort them into tens and ones? Yep. So what are you going to do? These are the one pile. Okay. How do you know there's four in the one pile? 
Because I've counted all of these. Okay, and how many have you got? And and I've counted to ten. Ah, and these okay. were the ones left over, were they? Yeah. Right, so can we put these ones on then? It's like a slide for the Cheerios. Yeah, it is like a slide for the Cheerios. A really dangerous one. Mm. That's five. Five more to go. Ooh. That's seven. Ooh, okay. Keep going. And yep. So can you write it this time for me? How many tens do you have in 14? One. Mm. And how many ones do you have? Four. Mm. And what do you notice? Like you've got one and four. What do you notice? That's 14. And yeah. Do you think you could write it like this? Look. One group of ten and four ones. Do you think? Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you think you could? So mm -hmm. again, showing them how that the number is actually made up is really, really useful at this point as well. Okay, right, one more last one. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, this time I'm going to ask you to think about telling me before you split them up. Okay, right, here we go. Right, count your Cheerios. And tell me what number you've one, got. Two. As you can see immediately he's starting to group those into that 10 and that 7 he's splitting them as he's counting which is the skill that we really want to encourage at this point so you've got 10 okay so can you please do you think so here's 17 okay mm -hmm. can you tell me how many tens there are in 17 mm -hmm. one, group. one group of 10 and how many ones well, seven. Mm, very good. So we've got one group of ten. And we've got seven ones. And what is ten plus seven? Well, seventeen. Yeah. And you see up there. That, and uh -huh. there. Yeah. And if we write it down here, we have one ten and seven ones. I put it on. You're going to put them on. So really, again, about making those connections, showing them the different ways. So you've got the number 17, you've got it partitioned into your one group of 10 and your seven units or your seven ones, and then showing them the actual calculation that is actually 10 plus seven so that your child can start to make those connections. This is just a really simple, a really practical activity keep with the sorting if you don't want to even introduce the 10 plus the 7 at this point feel free not to just do lots of sorting and really getting that concrete idea that there's one group of 10 and that there are these amount of units or ones but really do allow your child to have a good experience of sorting and partitioning and really thinking about how to make those numbers mm -hmm.